we need to talk about discrete mathematics. Discrete mathematics. This is a math course that math majors will probably not take. So if you are studying mathematics in college, chances are you will not study discrete mathematics. But I wanted to talk about this class because it's a class that I took in college. And it's a class that computer science majors take. I was a computer science major at first, and so I took discrete mathematics. I was also a math major at the same time. And let me tell you, discrete mathematics, as hard as it is for computer science majors, it is a beautiful course. It is a beautiful course. But it's hard. To give you an example, in my particular class, we started with 300 students. It was full. By the time the midterm came, we had about 157 students or so. I know this because they would post uh, how many people took the test online. They would post like the maximum, the minimum score, and the number of results. They'd, they'd post some statistics for the test scores, general statistics. So 300 to start, about 157 or so, if my memory serves me correctly, by the time the midterm came around. And by the time the final came around, that number was in the 80s or 90s. It's a hard class because there's so many topics. You know, you do sets, logic, counting, trees, recurrence relations, graph theory. I mean, there's just so many topics in discrete math. And up until that point, you know, you've only basically done algebra and calculus. I did well in the class because I was scared. You know, but before I took discrete math, I was I was a math tutor. And there was a girl, and she was telling me about discrete math. She was saying, oh, discrete math is really hard. People fail that class. It's, it's a weed-out class for computer science majors, she said. And I don't, I don't think there's anything. I, I think the whole weed out class thing is, is silly. But she scared me. And so I studied like crazy. I studied so hard for that class. I obsessed over it. I had this teacher who had a really thick accent. He was from the Middle East. And I loved the guy. I thought he was the best in the world. He taught so slow. I think he knew he had a thick accent. So he purposely spoke slower. Like I felt like he was putting in more effort into his teaching and it worked. I thought he was brilliant. And I ended up with the highest grade in the entire class out of 300 students. I love that class. And so that was my experience with discrete math. And so if you want to get better at discrete math, if you're trying to succeed at it, you just have to put in a lot more work. Right. I mean, I, I worked incredibly hard in that class. I, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I, I, I made it my life. And it worked. You know, if, if you want something in life badly enough, you prioritize it. The problem with that is that that takes sacrifice. So you have to sacrifice other parts of your life in order to succeed sometimes. So, for example, in discrete math, I had to sacrifice a big part of my life. You know, I, I didn't do much else except study at that point in my life. And that's how it is in life. So no matter if you're in discrete math, calculus, abstract algebra, topology, or just statistics, or even physics, no matter what you're studying, no matter what you're doing, if you want to succeed at that thing, the secret is to make it a priority in your life and work extra hard on it. And you'll find that when you do that, you will start seeing results. And it's not pretty because you have to make those sacrifices, right? No one likes sacrifice. And why would you want to give something up to succeed at something? But that is the dark, cold reality of something like discrete math or hard things like physics or you know, hard things in general. The good things in life take work. But discrete math, if it's kicking your butt, again, just know that it's normal. It kicks everyone's butt. I kick my butt just by getting the highest grade in the class. I had to work incredibly hard. Like, I, you know, it was, it was pretty dark. <laughs>
If you want to learn math, check out my courses and books. Links in the description. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Subscribe to my channels, Math Sorcerer, Math Sorcerer Espanol, Internet Sorcerer. Don't let discrete math get you down. If I remember, I'll try to link some books in the description for discrete math. There's, there's lots of good ones. None of them are perfect, but there's, there's some decent ones. I'll leave links in the description in case you want to check those out. Stay strong, my friends.